This video is on using proportional relationships to solve multi-step ratio and percent problems. Recall that a proportional relationship is one in which two quantities vary directly with each other. Examples would include at a constant rate, distance traveled varies directly with time. At a constant unit rate, total cost varies directly with the number of items purchased. I'm sure you can think of several other examples. We can use the concept of proportional relationships to solve problems involving simple interest, sales tax, percent increase, and percent decrease. For example, at a 7% sales tax rate, what is the tax on a purchase price of $35.45? What is the total amount paid on a $5,500 loan at the end of two years if the annual interest rate is 10%? Let's get started. The cashier rang up your purchase of three t-shirts and a pair of tennis shoes. Before the 7% sales tax, the total is $64.50. Calculate the sales tax on this purchase. There are two methods. Method one, you can set up a ratio. And method two, you can simply change 7% to a decimal, which is 0 0.07, and multiply times the original uh, purchase price. They call it the subtotal. So in the first method, you see it's set up as a ratio. You're going to say, so what is the uh, sales tax of $64.50 if the sales tax is 7%? 7% is 7 over 100. So as you can see, 100x, you cross multiply, equals 64.50 times 7. Then you divide both sides by 100 and you come up with the sales tax is $4.52. In the other method, method two, you take the subtotal cost of $64.50, multiply times the decimal version of 7%, and you still get the same, which is $4.52. So your total cost is going to be the subtotal, $64.50, plus the sales tax, which is $4.52, with a grand total of $69.02. Here's another problem. The newest cell phone on the market advertises that the battery life is 8% longer than the previous model. If the older cell phone battery lasted 15 hours, what could you expect the battery life of the new phone to be? Well, 8% in decimal form, this is the method we're going to use this time, is 0 0.08. So 0 0.08 times 15 is 1.2. You add the 1.2 hours to the 15 hours, and you would expect the new phone to last 16.2 hours. Now, this new cell phone was $144. Now it's on sale for $126. What is the percent decrease in price? Well, first you take the original price, $144, and subtract the current price, $126. What's the difference? The difference is $18. So $18 is what percent of the original price, $144, and you find that it is 12.5% difference. So that's the decrease in percent. Percent decrease. 12.5%. Here's another problem. Nate borrowed $3,500 from Dennis that he would pay back in two months. Dennis charges him 3% interest per month on the loan. How much money will Nate have to pay Dennis at the end of two months? 3% in decimal form is 0 0.03. So you take 3% of the $3,500, which is $105 interest per month. So now you multiply that by 2 for the 2 months. That would be $210 in interest after 2 months. 
Now you add the interest, $210, plus the original loan amount, $3,500, and you get a total of $3,710, $3,710 that Nate will have to pay Dennis at the end of two months. This is a simple interest problem. Headphones are now selling for 20% off the original price of $99. The sales tax is 6.5%. What will the total cost of purchasing one set of headphones be? Well, you're going to convert your sales tax of 6.5% to a decimal, 0 0.065. And you know that 20% is 0 0.20. So first take 20% of $99 and you get $19.18. You're going to subtract that from the original price to find out what that sale price is. The sale price is $79.20. And now you add the sales tax to that. So you have to take the sales tax, the 6.5% on that price, $79.20, and you get $5.15 as the sales tax. So now add the sales tax to the, the sales price and you get a total cost of $84.35. All right, that ends this very short, brief video on proportional relationships and problem solving. Enjoy the activity.